So I'm Henry Cookie, I'm a ninja wannabe, and I'm here to test the course out, ready for the show. I'm Martin Bamba, a Ninja Warrior contestant, and I'm also here to test the course. So before the contestants go on, we've got to make sure that all the obstacles are number one safe, uh, doable, and uh, obviously they're racing against the pros this time as well, so we've got to work out how to make sure head starts and so that things are fair. Well, if you haven't got that, you have to get through to get through the show. You are a bit less afraid to take a couple of risks, and you might try something new and be like, oh, that works, that's a bit quicker. Behind me right here is the I-beam cross. The men having much longer arm spans and longer legs and just typically bigger bodies than most women are able to span across it, but we've added a rope to assist the women. It's not that every woman needs it, but we definitely understand that men and women have some biological differences when it comes to reach. Currently setting up the rig for the Mount Midori on the rope climb, making sure it's nice and safe, and hopefully we're going to be getting harnessed up and going up ourselves in a minute. Uh, different things work for different people. Like I like to cross my feet. Big Martin has a bit yeah, of a different I like technique. To push against my uh, inside of my shin, so yeah. I get more of a nice quick pull. But you really want to make sure that your legs do most of the work because, like, um, your arms obviously get tired quicker than your legs. Your legs are used to taking all your body weight, so they're much stronger. So you try and get your legs to do the work, push them with your legs and then pull them with your hands. Brutal, isn't it? That? Yeah, mm. that's a lot. If you've done anything that high, I've got that high. Uh, we are already here, is the one we've done. It's about 15 metres up there. It's a long way up, long way up. We did get to test Mount Midori Armour, so that was really fun. Finally getting to the, the, uh, the final obstacle and completing it in time it was a great feeling. When you start getting towards the end, you can see the end is like right there, but getting there is another story. That's so it. the leg lock's definitely, definitely made a difference. <laughs> My technique yeah. definitely slipped off by the end. I yeah. Henry's and just pulling as fast as I could. You start really running out of energy near the top, do, so yeah. it's definitely a big burn. You focus away at everything. There's no, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything. Tunnel possible. vision is yeah. just get up, get up, just keep going, keep going. Just Every now and again, that. you have a glance. I don't know about you, but yeah, I kind of like, <laughs> I zone out and then now and again I'll glance up and see how far I've got to go. Oh, they've got a challenge ahead of them. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be quite tough for them. Um, it's like to make it through this whole course is going to be quite an achievement there. So I'm really impressed with anyone that finishes it. Got a lot to look forward to.